Are you sitting down most of your day at work? You start to feel tired and lethargic and your focus starts to go. You might want to think about getting a stand-up desk, getting up off your chair. Here are five moves to do at a stand-up desk and also some reasons why you really want to think about getting up and getting moving. I'm Lizzie Williamson from Two Minute Moves and these moves at your stand-up desk are going to help you get more energy for your work day and also loosen up any tight muscles you've got, work to strengthen your core and your glutes. What's not to like? Let's do them. Move number one, and this one is for your spine. You are going to tap one side of your desk, then tap the other. And as you go through, just have a look over your shoulder, because that's really nice for your neck as well, which tends to get in the one position the whole day, as in straight ahead or looking down. So tap and get that nice little twist and open up through your chest. Go for 10 to 20 of these very simple and yet so lovely moves there. Move number two, super simple, but it's gonna work up the back of your legs and their heel raises. Hold onto your desk if you like and scoop under those hips slightly so engage your tummy muscles as both heels raise off the floor, then drop them on down, up and down. And that is it. Take a little moment to check in with your posture, see if your shoulders can maybe go back an inch. See if you can hold onto the desk or off the desk there, which is even harder for your balance. So you can put your hands on your hips and strike a power pose there, which is shown to help you feel more confident. We love that. So go for 10 to 20 of these. Pick up the pace a little bit if you like, or nice and slowly, and you'll start to feel that engaging your calf right at the back of your legs there. Oh, so good. Move number three is going to loosen up your knees and also work into your glutes. So you start by taking one leg out to the side there and then lift it up, take your heel towards your bottom, take that leg out again and drop it. So you lift, bend, out and down. Lift it up, take heel to the bottom, extend and down. And even after just a few of these, I can already feel my glutes really working there. So again, work your shoulders back a little bit if you can, and you're gonna go for 10 on each side of these ones here. Move number four, you are going to stick your bottom back in a squat. Again, hold on to your table if you need to there. Stick your bottom back right back in your heels and then have this little scoop under your hips and pull in of your glute muscles there as you come on up. So your glutes are in your backside here. You want these to be nice and strong for you there because it supports your upper body, lifting you up. And these tend to get quite weak if you're sitting down. So it's great if you've got your little stand-up desk option it keeps them much stronger because when you're standing up you tend to kind of engage those glutes a little bit and you also tend to move around a little bit too. Move number five, simple but a really great thing to do to get your heart rate up a little bit. Your heart doesn't have to work very hard when you're sitting or standing up in the day so we want that happening because we want to pump blood and oxygen to our brain so we can get some more things done and also so we're not tending to go for that third cup of coffee or a block of chocolate for our energy. The other great thing as we start to walk, which is move number five, you will see that your hip flexors can loosen up a bit. So whether you're sitting still or standing still, you still want to get moving. The key is movement, so your body's not in the one position. So swing your arms if you like, you're a bit self-conscious of people around you, then just keep them by your side. If you want a bit more, then pick up a bit of pace so you get a nice little endorphin hit. And if you want even more than that, have a little jog on the spot and imagine that the ground is like super hot sand. Lift it up there. Remember you've got those options of a fast walk or even just a slow walk with those knees coming up and go for 50 of those. Definitely worth considering getting one of these stand-up desk contraptions. You can alternate between standing up or sitting on down while you're working. But the key here is movement and giving a whole lot of love to your brain, to your heart and to your body so you can get the most out of your day and walk out of work feeling energized and focused and not so stiff, tired like you've been half asleep for your day. 
I'm Lizzie Williamson from Two Minute Moves. If you want more fun, easy ways to get exercise into your day, then click the circle there to subscribe. Love to have you part of this community, and I'll see you for another workout very soon. Bye-bye.